Today, the State Board of Education took the podium to lay out details of some of their controversial proposed rules. But as Fox 25's Capitol reporter Peyton May reports, there's more confusion than clarification as senators are not sure whether these rules even have legal standing. The goal of today was for lawmakers to get some more clarification from agencies on their proposed rules. But after the State Department of Education's presentation, there were more questions than answers. I will be happy to look into that and get back with you on further clarification. I will look into that and get back with you. Is that correct? Uh, possibly correct. I mean, Lindsay McSparron works for the Department of Education and is the person tasked with giving some context to the around 20 permanent rules lawmakers are challenging. Everything from accreditation standards to prayer in public schools. We've had a couple different things that have been asked that you didn't have the answer for. I don't have a question for the presenter. I think they're not um, qualified to answer it. I feel bad for the person that they sent to have to run this gauntlet of questions. There's a lot of confusion on whether the Board of Education could even pass these permanent rules. Following the Attorney General's opinion, Senator Michael Brooks believes they can't without legislative intent, meaning the legislature would have to pass a bill laying out the guidelines. The Board of Education doesn't have carte blanche to be able to, to make law. That's the responsibility and the constitutional responsibility of the legislature. McSparron disagrees. The previous administration adopted roughly 130 pre permanent rules. Um, out of those, 83 were not specifically as a result from the state legislature. But wasn't entirely sure. Does the legislature have to change the law for us to change the rule? McSparron said she would give lawmakers a document of answers to all of their questions later on. The committee didn't reject or approve any of the rules. The meeting was just for open discussion. Reporting at the Capitol, Peyton May, Fox 25 News.